How's it going everybody? I am Louis the Average Guy 1983. Thank you very much for joining me on this video today. In today's video I'm going to be going out with Glendale PEB today on Sunday. Uh, there's an event that they're having today which is the two year anniversary of Glendale PEV. So I'm going to be going out there with them, see how this brewery place is like and uh, I'm taking the Roadrunner Pro. So I have it fully charged. It's at 67.2 volts right now on the display. Um, I have the tires set to 50 PSI for both the front and the rear and everything is completely charged right now and down here in the bottom in this bag I have the Roger charger that you can probably see in there as well as the uh, plug that I'm going to be needing to charge this at an EV station while we wait. The event is not till 11 that's the takeoff time so what I'm going to be doing is uh, right now it's 937 I'm going to try to get to a charging station around the Glendale PV uh, meetup spot and then stay there till about maybe 1045 1050 a.m. and then uh, stop charging even if I'm not at hundred percent and go from there so let's go ahead and get rolling alrighty guys so we are in gear 4 and I do have the uh, lid for the helmet closed The acceleration on the uh, Roadrunner Pro in gear 4 is set to 4 out of 5 in the front and 5 out of 5 in the rear. The goal is to try to get there as soon as possible so that's why I'm riding in gear 4. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, so we made it to Brand Boulevard and um, Broadway, and right now I see that I have 61 volts exactly on the display, but it's creeping up to now 61.3. So if I take a look at my chart, 61.4 is technically 70% battery life, and that's where we're actually at right now. Now it says 61.4, and we have uh, 5.2 miles in on the ride, uh, based on what the displays this on the mileage so we're actually making our way to a charging station i would have actually made a right turn uh right here on uh on uh brand but because i need to charge up again i figured i would just take you guys along over here to where i'm going and uh see how that works out so we do have a, a charging station over here in this area you can see it right here so the way to get in here is to uh, try to go up through here and try to get into the station there. So uh, let me try to do that now so I can try to find somewhere to charge and then we can get on out of here. Alrighty, hopefully you guys can see everything okay. So we are right now at 61.8 volts on the display. At uh, 5.4 miles in, we have arrived to our charging destination. Based on the chart that I'm going to give you guys a screenshot right now, if you look under the 60 volt category and go under what's closest to 61.8 volts, it's actually between 61.4 and 62.4. So we're looking at roughly about um, anywhere between 72 to 74% battery life. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick how this is supposed to plug in. So the first thing we need to do here, hopefully you guys can see this, is uh, grab the charger. And this charger is set up to be at 67.2 uh, volts just like the uh, stock charger so we're not doing anything faster but we are at 10 amps so one thing that I definitely was not taking into account uh, was the limitation of this Roger charger um, I didn't know that once I told the guy that all I was looking for was for something to charge up the Roadrunner Pro and the Inmotion RS that he was going to limit my power to that so we have charging right here this is the plug that needs to go into the uh, uh, outlet there. So what we want to do here is plug in the end to the charging port here. There we go. Set this on the floor. Open up the charging port. Before we plug anything in, we need to make sure everything turns on. So what we do now is we come over here and tap. 
authorizing and we're at 101 brand avenue here we go it says plug in so we grab the charger here plug in this way and it says waiting for ev and we should see this thing powering up and here we go you can kind of see it there time to charge plug in this thing It should start charging immediately. It says uh, 62.78 volts is what it really has. It's at 72% battery life. And it's uh, 16 seconds in so far on the charge time. So we'll see how it does. Once it reaches 100% from that state that it's currently in, we'll go ahead and uh, get going. Alrighty, so I decided to grab my phone so you guys can see how this is going. I wanted to show you guys how this thing works. Uh, basically, what you see here is... Um, it's the price per kilowatt here. It's 30 cents per kilowatt hour. So it says minimum $1 fee. So not so bad. Um, let's go ahead and head back. And all we're doing right now is literally charging. And I was able to use my tap card from the uh, Metro Rail, which is pretty cool. That means that if you don't have a debit card or a credit card, you can use your Metro Rail card to be able to fill up your stuff. So. Here's what we have so far. Alrighty, so I made the screen a little bit darker so you guys can see what this looks like. Uh, we have 63.17 volts so far going into the uh, Roadrunner charge time wise. And we are right now at about 75% battery. The uh, charge is set to 67.2 volts, just like the stock charger at 10 amps. We have about three minutes in on the charge. So once it reaches 100%, you'll be able to see at the very bottom where it says time how long did it take to charge up from like 72 or 73 percent up to as close as we can get it to 100 percent but yeah this is a roger charger and it's good for a 60 volt system and a 72 volt is what works alrighty ladies and gentlemen so we are at 10.05 a.m right now the goal here is to stay charging until about 10.45 a.m or 10.50 a.m before the group takes off at 11. We're gonna go ahead and uh, finish charging here. Uh, I was lucky because I was able to get in through that corner there, but to get out, I can use that corner right over there and just open the door and just step right out. So this is pretty cool. So I'll give you guys the total on this uh, meter of what it took to charge from 73% up to as close as we can get to 100%. If we make it to 100% a lot faster than the group ride meetup, then awesome. But alrighty, you guys, let's go ahead and check out real quick. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we have officially packed up. We're ready to go. Uh, we got 65.8 volts in the uh, information here on the display. On this chart that I'll share with you guys right now, uh, if you look under the 60 volts, 65.8 is really close between 66.2 and 65.3 so we are at about uh, 94 to 95 percent realistically out of what uh, this chart is saying versus what the Roger charger said so um, we are going to be dropping the gear down to maybe three or two and uh, hopefully based on the ride we'll be able to like uh, be able to conserve as much energy as possible uh again when i rode over here i rode in gear four because i wanted to get here as soon as possible if i would have left earlier from my house i probably could have made it to 100 percent battery life Alrighty, so we're switching over to uh gear two and taking off So it is now 10.51, they are going to be taking off soon, so we're doing good timing right now. Because it's literally right off of Brand, so I can get on on this sidewalk right here and meet them at the corner. Here we go. Let's just be real careful here with pedestrians. Alrighty guys, here's the group ride. Throw. What's up? <laughs> Alright, made it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alright, made it. How's it going everybody? I am Louis the Average Guy in 1983. I have arrived to Glendale PV. Here's my Roadrunner Pro. Ready to go in at a boat. 95% battery life, so we're good on here. 
let's see what rides we have today got a couple one wheels I got the Frigo e-bike and check this one out the Langfabe hardcore customized that looks amazing way bigger than my RS for sure and check it out a kick-ass JBL system that is dope now let me show you guys the other ones yeah you could check it out here's the other one e of Cruiser V1 there we go check it out freaking awesome dude i would love to do something like that on my roadrunner pro so i can remove the other speaker let's see what else we got going on here here's the other one got a jbl speaker in the bottom and then we got a couple more rides right over here this has to be the most comfortable seat in the world and in our group leaders ride for today with a massive motor right on alrighty ladies and gentlemen so we're gonna go ahead and start gearing up but this is everybody the rules will still apply to this ride as well Dude. stay to the right be respectful don't pass me we should be all right it's going to be 10 miles going to lawless there is going to be a food event so parking might be limited but we'll figure it out and then there's charging there's beer you guys know the whole thing but once again stay to the right give each other enough space don't pass me we should be all right uh, if we have to stop for any reason, let me know, and then that's about it. So go ahead, uh, get ready at this moment. We're going to be leaving very soon, so go ahead, gear up. All right, right on. Let's do it. Let's do this. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, and we're going to head out. I'm in gear two, and uh, we are now going to be heading out to Lawless Brewery in uh, Hollywood. So that is how we're going to be doing our stuff. So it's going to be pretty dope. And uh, we'll see how this ride goes and how we do. So right now I'm at 65.5 volts on the display here. On the chart that I have here on me, um, we are basically at about 93% now. Alright, so right now we're keeping it at about 19 to 20 miles an hour on the display. Uh, obviously the GPS might be more accurate since I have uh, larger size tires. It ends up changing the... Uh, the miles per hour on the uh, speedometer so it's not reading a hundred percent like accurately on the display so it actually goes faster than what it is but uh, I'm keeping it in gear 2 which is technically set up to go up to 25 miles an hour that should be more than enough for this group ride considering that we also have one wheels with us that go up to 25 miles an hour so we'll see how all of this goes and how we do with the um, group right here and how the Roadrunner does realistically taking it out again this is just on the stock 60 volt 30 amp hour battery and what I'm trying to do here is just keep this uh, throttle right here very very gentle on it like don't go crazy and accelerate it because that's what uh, does that whole voltage sag drop thingy and you end up losing a lot more power because you decided to accelerate the scooter too hard at least for the 60 volt system that I'm still trying to get used to so I'm all the way in the back so there's nine of us total But again, we are at 50 PSI on the tires, both front and rear. So that we can get 
the most range out of the uh, Roadrunner Pro with the stock battery. But I think riding like this at a chill speed is going to definitely do a pretty good job. Now, uh, JPL did mention that there's supposed to be a charging station over there or somewhere for us to plug in and charge. So hopefully we can. I basically paid a dollar for my charging time even though it was technically 83 cents of power that I used, but it's minimum $1 charge. And again, guys, if you guys are in the area and want to join us on a group ride with uh, Glendale PEV, hit us up. Uh, we're on uh, Facebook and also on Instagram. And I'll go ahead and share the, um, the screenshots for both spots. So this way you have options. So right now I'm letting the scooter glide. Uh, we let go of the throttle. I'm not sure if we're going up. Yeah, we are. Okay, cool. It's good to know. So when you go up inclines like this, you do lose a little tiny bit of power. Not too much, but if you don't overdo it on the acceleration, you're good. There's literally no one behind us, so this is nice. Most of us here have similar battery life here when it comes to the voltage. Only scooters like the Langfayette that's in the front and my RS have like 72 volts. Alright, this is a nice glide. I'm literally gliding without accelerating, but I'm starting to slow down so I gotta pick up the acceleration a tiny bit so right now I see 62.7 on the voltage on the display Good. There's nine of us. All right, here we go. We're gonna be entering a bike path. Pretty awesome. Alrighty, and we get to ride. Always good to uh, watch out for pedestrians. I see how the lady got a little bit upset moving her hands like what the hell. <laughs> But uh, this is a bike path, this is not just a area for pedestrians either. So pedestrians also have to learn to uh, share the bike pathway with us. With the exception of the sidewalk, which we're not supposed to be really riding in.
Oh, I also found out what kind of brakes the Roadrunner uses. It uses zoom brakes. <laughs> Even though you just see the Voro Motors branding, it's actually zoom brakes what this thing uses. I'm not gonna deny it, man. It does feel way more comfortable than the IRS. <laughs> Riding sitting down versus standing. Because with the... Uh, Electric scooter or standing on it, you have to keep yourself balanced very well, especially going at high speeds, making sharp turns, etc. Oh yeah, and regarding the suspension guys, the upgraded one that I put on, the 340mm one, it actually has been working quite well. I don't feel any kind of bottoming out whatsoever on this uh, Roadrunner Pro. So I definitely recommend either the 340mm or the 320 But just know that it will raise your uh, Roadrunner Pro from the rear. So you'll be slanted a little bit forward. So just, you know, just know that that's how this is working. But it's doing a really good job so far. Definitely worth the money. I do have a video on showing you guys how to install the uh, aftermarket shocks. The only thing that would make this ride even better it's having an adjustable front suspension. That would be freaking cool, man. But the suspension is already set stock in the front. Alright, here we go through another pathway. It's a pretty cool pathways, man. And at chill speeds of under 25, that's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, got a tiny little incline there. Poor dude. <laughs> he had to like freeze himself in the middle. But this is a bike path though. pathway here we go
Okay, so far from my location where I was uh, at from my house to here, it's about 10 miles so far. But that's not really going to count because I did charge up the scooter technically. Based on the charger, it said 97%, but on the actual scooter itself, it basically said like 95. So 2% uh, percent less than what the charger was stating. Still okay though. Still okay for what it is. cyber truck I've been seeing a lot of those lately Okay, no cars.
Oh nice, we have a bike path separated for us and the other people going across and then also a uh, pathway for pedestrians. That's tight. From what I remember seeing on the um, map that the uh, group leader provided, we're supposed to be riding for about 8.5 miles, give or take, from the meetup point down to the um, Lawless Brewery place in Hollywood. And I really do hope that we... Uh, find the charging station otherwise I might have to break apart from the group and find my own destination to charge up and then make it home but there's no point in telling you guys right now what the voltage is because there is going to be some voltage sag on this Roadrunner even going in gear 2 up to 25 miles an hour and I do have the uh, the power distribution on the Roadrunner Pro for gear 2 set to 3 for the front and 3 for the rear. So it's a more chill acceleration, not like overkill. I'm not sure why she's getting upset if... Uh, old lady there saying sheesh <laughs> like don't ride a bike if you don't know how to alrighty so right now we're at 11.6 miles in on my trip from my house all the way to this current spot and we got 61.8 volts is what is showing on the display so based on the chart I'll show you guys a screenshot it is at approximately like 75% give or take, so that's not bad. Alrighty, here we go. I think on the next stoplight, I'm going to try to adjust my uh, gloves. Maybe I have them on too tight because my hands are getting numb on both the left hand and the right hand. Okay, display says 18 miles an hour. Okay. 
Let's increase the speed a little bit. About like 20. Should be good right there. Yeah, on this uh, Roadrunner Pro, after I changed out the tire to the motorcycle grade tires that are a bit larger, actually a lot larger than the uh, original Roadrunner Pro tires and also wider, um, it changed the uh, speedometer information. It's not accurate anymore. The scooter actually goes faster than what it's actually displaying. And I've read it already on the uh, speed checker, like in the streets that we have, as well as the um, uh, the GPS off of the Ace Pro. So it's actually off by maybe three to four miles. So it might actually be going faster than what it actually is supposed to. We got one more guy behind us in the E-Move Cruiser V1. There you go. He's catching up. I can see him from my display. All right. So we made it to our destination. Awesome. All right. So we are going to uh, get off our rides here and walk on in so we did a uh, 60.9 volts that's how much we dropped it to which is about 65 percent battery life so not bad alrighty so let's go ahead and uh, park our PVs in here now we were told that there is somewhere to charge so let's see man because I'm at 60% I might make it back to the charging location so we'll see what's up all right so we have a uh, we have arrived to our spot on the display we have 61 volts now when it comes to the voltage here 61 volts is approximately 70% battery life. So that's what we really have after the voltage sag settles in. So not bad, guys. Well, let's go ahead and uh, settle in. Alrighty, we have arrived to Lawless Brewery. Here you go. There's a big sign right there. It says Lawless Brewery, North Hollywood. Here we go. And there's nine of us here today, nine riders. Everybody's here. What's up? There you go. All right, here's a closer look of the PVs here. My Roadrunner Pro at 70% battery life. There we go. Everybody's here with good battery life too. We all made it. All right. Cool. Well, let's grab something to eat. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we're done with our Lawless Brewery event. Now, unfortunately, my battery is dying. So, on my uh, Insta360 Ace Pro, I completely forgot to bring a spare battery, man. So, my bad. But, um... We're basically going to be making our way back. If you're interested in buying a Roadrunner Pro, please be sure to go to voramotors.com and use my discount code TAG19850 off to get $50 off your Roadrunner Pro. As it's a pretty good scooter so far. Um, I got about 70% battery life right now, so I should be more than good enough to go uh, you know, back to the meetup spot and maybe charge up up there if I have to. But uh, yeah. This is going to be ending it here, guys. So, um, I'll talk to you guys later on. And I'll go ahead and share a screenshot 
from the display of what I actually did total range wise from my house to this spot and back to my house and uh, yeah so alrighty guys I will see you guys on the next video and I hope you guys enjoyed the trip going out alrighty man catch you guys later peace Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations if you decided to stick around all the way to the end to see how I have to charge up this Roadrunner Pro. Congrats on staying after the main event. <laughs> so right now here, I have the uh, voltage here at 56, which on the chart, which I'll show you guys in the little screenshot right here, um, it's basically uh, at about 43%, give or take. So we're going to charge up the uh, charger literally in the same spot where I was at right here. And uh, we're going to uh, see how long it takes. And I will make sure to report that and uh, show you guys the actual starting point and ending point. I do want to get it close to 100% or 100% if possible. So I'm going to be here for a while. Thankfully, I don't have to use the restroom or anything like that. I got some water in my backpack, so I'm good. I can just uh, sit down right over here and just wait till this thing is charged up so i'm gonna go ahead and get started you guys already got to see in the other part of the video in the beginning on how this thing works so i'm gonna go ahead and start charging up and then show you guys basically the starting point of what it actually says on the uh voltage on the charger and also the ending voltage and how much i paid total so uh, i know that minimum it's a dollar of a charge even if i only do 30 minutes so we're gonna see how this rolls Alrighty, my friends, so though the uh, display on the Roadrunner Pro said 56 volts, which is technically about 43%, in reality, it's actually at 36%. That explains why the Roadrunner Pro had a lot of voltage sag and why accelerating was starting to become difficult. And it kind of got stuck at about 21 miles an hour in gear two out of 25. <laughs> so I had to pick it up to gear three just to try to keep up with everybody else arriving to our destination so um we're gonna see how long it takes right now we're one minute in and now at 36 percent make it make it 37 give or take right there the fluctuation but uh hopefully we'll see how long it takes and what's the total cost for everything basically charging from uh, a very low voltage state up to its 100 percent Alrighty, so far I paid a dollar into this uh, charge at 48 minutes and 39 seconds, you can say. Um, on the charger itself, right over here on the ground, hopefully you guys can see this. We have 61% battery life so far, charge-wise. So, not bad. Not bad for what it is. So, let's keep charging. That's pretty much how much I paid for my RS, too. The last time when I had it at about like 30 percent and i used the two chargers with the same plug um, all i did on this plug over here which you can see right here that special plug there with this outlet there all i did was just i added a two additional prong outlet uh, attached to like a one and a two out and i plugged in my two rs chargers and we were good to go so yeah now this charger is really expensive for what it is it could only charge 60 volt scooters up to 72 volt like battery type scooters so yeah but alrighty guys let's keep going alrighty ladies and gentlemen i've been here for almost two hours i'm almost reaching 100 let me show you guys real quick so i'm at 98 percent almost two hours in charging from uh literally 36 percent so I'm going to call it here because I want to go home. I even raised the amp hours to 10.1 so that this way uh, I can be able to get out of here soon. Uh, let me go ahead and disconnect this here so I can show you guys exactly how that works. All you got to do here is just disconnect the Roadrunner Pro first. Just like that. That'll help stop the charger there. And then from there, we just disconnect the plug over here. This one here just like that and then from there we disconnect this one here just like that and then we plug this one 
back over here to get our total. And here's what we spent. There we go. So it's basically just a dollar. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start putting things away and we'll get going. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. So on the display, we have 65.8 volts. So this is what we're looking at now. And uh, I'm ready to go home. I know I'm not at 100% charge, but I'm, I'm done here. It's actually already literally dark outside. So I can't wait to get out of here. But thank you guys very much for staying with me all the way to the end and uh, allowing me to show you guys how this charger works and how to use the charging station up here to charge. So um, I'm gonna go home. This was still a cool ride, but again, with the 60 volt, 30 amp hour system, uh, this thing definitely needs more power. Um, I'm waiting for my range extender battery to be able to get this rowing. And um, yeah, um, hopefully I get it soon from Voro Motors so I can be able to enjoy this a lot better than what I currently am. Alrighty guys, catch you guys later, bye.